when it comes to containing illegal immigration. More than 30% of Americans support the construction of a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. A few days ago, President Trump was in Yuma, Arizona, touting the progress of that wall. Next week, we'll be up to 300 miles of incredible wall. But Congress, like so much of the rest of the country, remains torn. Would a wall present an effective physical impediment to illegal immigration, or would it just be a waste of money? We pose that question as we set up our hidden cameras at the Randolph Diner in Morris County, New Jersey. Ready? Dile tú primero. Okay, I'll have the almejas con limón. Something with lemon? Oh, come on, you don't know what almejas mean? I'm sorry, I don't. It's clams. Then say clams. If you overheard this man... I don't understand. You're probably not even here legally. That's why we need to build the wall. Publicly advocating for a wall along the U.S.-Mexico border. We have working papers. Oh, yeah, right. Until we build that wall, it's better to be safe than sorry. What would you do? Today, our actors are playing day laborers, foreign workers given temporary visas to perform essential jobs. Hi, guys. Do you know what you want? No, señorita. No, no sabemos. No sabemos. Okay. I'll give you guys another minute. Gracias. While both men are legally allowed to work in the U.S., our actor Mike has his doubts. Hello, sir. Do you not understand the menu? As he begins his inquiry... Are you guys even legal? Do you have any papers? These first customers quickly turned the tables on him. Why are you asking him that? If we had a wall, we, I wouldn't have any doubts that they had appropriate... I would documents. love a wall right here right now. I don't have a problem with them. I just want to make sure that they're legal, they belong here. You're not deputized to do that. Well, we all should be deputized. The government can't follow every single person. She turns her attention away from Mike. Gentlemen, I'm sorry you're experiencing this today. That's really uncalled for. Wow. And he storms away. Yeah, I'm not really comfortable staying here with you guys. Find a safe place. <laughs> Leaving these co-workers to freely discuss the issue with our day laborers. What do you think about the wall that he's talking about? Personally, I happen to be in favor of it. There has to be a wall and a door. And it's, it's not using the door that's the problem. I'd love everybody to have the opportunity to come to this land of promise, but it just can't be... <laughs> All right, ask the woman, what do you think? What do you think? We didn't fortify our border to, to Canada. People are flying in. They're coming in off ships, rerouting through other countries to come in. They're, it's very naive to think that a wall is going to solve every issue when it comes to immigration. For me, I don't live in one of those border states, so I don't experience it. I don't really know what's going on over there. Now Mike is back in the restaurant. Mira, mira, mira. Cebollas. Do you guys speak English? Can you read the menu? Once again, a customer clearly overhears him complaining. If we had a wall, this wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, hopefully they'll do something soon. And she says it's an issue the government should address. It's gotten a lot worse. There's some good ones and some, you know, that nothing can be done about it until the government decides to agree with your president. I apologize. No worries. Just very frustrating, this whole situation. It is. Let's find out more. I was trying not to uh, egg him on at all because I wasn't sure, you know. I would like to see a wall, but I do believe people have the right to come here. That's a tough issue. If you're coming here to contribute to, to making this com country better. What if they're fleeing persecution because life is so hard in their homeland? We have our own people right here in the United States that need, that need help, and I've seen some not able to get help. So it's like pros and cons, right? What would you do, build the wall? This next customer offers Mike a couple of suggestions. If you can't be around different types of people, maybe you should stay home. If we had the wall, these people wouldn't even be here. You could go help them build it. While this next man is a bit more demanding with his request. We need to build the wall. Take a wall before you get me pissed off. Unable to find an ally. I'm just saying. Don't say. Mike leaves. Let's break it. 
I'm sorry you had to go through that. He's lucky. That is my country. Enjoy. This is America. And this is What Would You Do? How you doing, sir? How are you? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, but I didn't mean to cause a scene. There's a lot of debate over this wall, you know, whether we should build it. I'm all for legal immigrants coming into this country because they're the foundation of this country. But it's not my business. If they're here illegally, uh, but they're making a contribution and they're working and so on. Hi guys, are you ready? Hola, como no, señorita. <laughs> These last customers are here for a pleasant family meal. Did you come to the United States legally? But Mike is making it anything but pleasant. We don't want any trouble, it's just an inside joke. This is the problem we have. We need to build the wall. Clearly upset, he's hurt enough. Are you just gonna ignore me? I have a question for you. But he walks right past Mike, doing his best to avoid confrontation. So he's complaining to the uh, manager, right? Yeah. He's being really rude to the two men. What is he saying? It's people like you that are like, you know, why we need to build a wall and stuff. With a good deed in hand, he rejoins his family. Sir, I'm just going to ask you to leave. I'm sorry. No, this I'm is disruptive. And right this is, I was here. But Mike refuses to stand down. You guys are trying to get me kicked out because I'm doing the right thing. Will anyone stand up to him? Hello. Don't ignore me, man. I was the one who talked to them, sir. I'm sorry? Oh, here we go. You're the one who's acting just so immature. Oh, immature? Our whole country depends on this issue. They're What's... taking our jobs. <laughs> you're the problem, sir, because you're berating them for no reason. If we don't have just the Just shut up, OK? It's done. It's So you don't think a border wall would help Just us? Just pay attention to yourself. We're going to focus on ourselves. You focus on yourself, OK? Yeah, All right, we're coming up. Time to ease the tension. How you guys doing? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> you OK? <laughs> I mean, you're shaking. Why are we so upset? Nobody deserves to be treated like that, and that's just somebody, you know, just straight up being racist. The fact is, this happens, especially over the issue of immigration and the wall. It's disappointing that it gets to this and that there are actually people like that. At the end of the day, most customers stand up to the actor harassing our day laborers. But a few did believe a border wall would help curb illegal immigration. Well, now... So this is it, the U.S.-Mexican border. Our hidden cameras are rolling less than one mile from the border in El Paso, Texas. And our new actors are grabbing a quick bite at Max. Vamos a ver. You know what you want, yeah? Um, este sandwich de opciones, uh, los, los oysters. Can I ask you guys something? As Jay begins grilling our day laborers. Are you guys citizens? We have working papers. That's not the same thing, is it? This first customer asks a question of his own. So sorry. How does this not bother you? It doesn't bother me a bit. It bothers me. This is why we need to build that wall. The wall will not help. What it might prevent is people walking across the head. We don't have that. We have fences in El Paso. It's not, it's not doing anything to spend the time silencing. His point? U.S. laws allow refugees to apply for asylum from inside the U.S. What about the, the caravans coming up from Central America? So a wall would not deter thousands of migrants seeking refuge from coming to the border, or thousands of day laborers working in the U.S. on temporary visas. There's probably criminals in those caravans, right? There's criminals in the El Paso Police Department. There's criminals wherever you come from. He's so calm. Let's find out more. We're one of the largest ports uh, in the country for business with Mexico, and so you shut down the border, it would create tremendous problems for El Paso. What's your stand on the, the wall? I think there's places where you probably need a wall, like southern Arizona, and, but I don't think a 30-foot high wall the length of the border is the answer. As the day goes on... It makes me uncomfortable not knowing if you're here working legally or not. More El Paso natives denounce the need for a border wall. A wall will make them. How so? Because they're not coming across the fence. No, they're trying to come across and claim asylum, which they're legally allowed to do. 
Don't you think a wall would deter them? It would be pissing away billions of dollars from them. The next pissing away billions of dollars. Some locals patiently try to talk some sense into Jay. I mean, would a wall make you feel safer or more comfortable living in El Paso? I'm raising my kids here. I don't have a problem with living in El Paso. If I did, I would move. But not everyone gives them the time of day. I mean, are you guys here legally? We have, we have. You don't have to answer him on anything. I'm just saying, I think we'd be safer if we had a wall. We'd be safer without people like you. Jay continues voicing his concerns. A border wall would help us know who was legal and who wasn't. You don't belong here, I'm sorry. And more customers turn the tables on him. You have proof that you're an American citizen too? Let's be honest here. I look American, they don't. Nobody came up to you and asked you where you're from because we don't care. Everyone is here to enjoy but their meal. Just leave these men alone. Jay refuses to back down. Don't you think a wall would help? And this man makes one final suggestion. No, no, why don't you go somewhere else and actually eat at another establishment where you'll feel more comfortable? You know what, this is exactly why we need the wall. Okay, let's break the scene. I'm sorry, not everybody who's like that. How are you? I'm John Quinones with the TV show, What Would You Do? <laughs> <laughs> Your message to that man? This is a free country. Everyone from the U.S. came from somewhere else at some point, and I think you just need to let people live their lives. What do you think? There's no room for that intolerance, especially in El Paso. I believe a wall simply just breaks communities apart, tears away families. And why build something over here that simply is just so inhumane? What would you do, build the wall? We roll again. Shrimp cocktail, cocktail de camarones. Small or large? Do, do you guys mind? Do you cook? Can I ask, do you speak English? Yes, we just but speak Spanish because we know each other. I know, but this last party of five is quickly caught in the crossfire. If we had the wall, I would know they were legal. But instead of firing back at Jay, they turn their attention to our day laborers, speaking to them in English and in Spanish. Are, are you guys citizens? No, we, we have working papers. He's nobody. You don't have to answer to him. You don't have to talk to him. If they don't like us, they can leave. Our actor now turns his frustration on the customers. Can we just speak English so I can understand what you're saying? I said you don't have to ask that. It's not your job to ask that. If you don't like it, you can leave. This is a free country. You can walk the door and leave. Let me ask you this. Do you think a wall would stop illegal immigration? Probably not. It would indeed it. Stop. All right, let's break it. Let's break it. So it, w it would help? No. Just leave it. That would just unhealthy. Time to introduce ourselves. Hi, guys. How are you? I'm John Quinones. Oh, my God. With the TV oh show. Oh, my God. <laughs> you said something to the workers in Spanish. What did you tell them? That they're welcome here and not listen to me. What do you think of the wall? I think it's a stupid idea. You live here. I do. I would know. There's a lot of talk about this being ground zero, that it's a crisis here at the border. Is it? Not a crisis at all. I don't feel unsafe walking downtown at nighttime. There is nothing. It is a safe place to be. It was just a snapshot of one day in two states, but the difference was noticeable. At the diner in New Jersey, opinions vary. But along the border in Texas, everyone we met disagreed with the wall. It's a thorny issue. Hopefully, continued dialogue can help bridge the divide. Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another What Would You Do moment. Enjoy.